Um, so exactly, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys remember, when we're adding fractions, all right, if they have the common denominators, then we're good. right? And we can just add the numerators and keep the common denominator. Um, and what I told you guys, basically, when adding and subtracting um, compl or rational expressions, the easiest thing to find the common denominator was just to multiply your two denominators. So therefore, I'd say my least common denominator is equal to x squared minus 9 times x minus 3. But that is not always going to be the least common denominator, though. So you have to be a little bit careful. Because same thing, the least common denominator of 9 and 3 is not 18 or 27. The least common denominator between 9 and 3 is actually 9. So if you have an opportunity to factor, always look to factor. Here, I can factor because this is a difference of two squares. So when I factor this, I get x minus 3 times x plus 3. So what you guys notice is they both already share an x minus 3. So the least common denominator is not x squared minus 9 x minus 3, but it's just x minus 3 times x plus 3. And what's nice about this is since I was able to identify that, we can see that this is already at my common denominator. So therefore, to get them both to have the least common denominator, all I need to do is multiply this fraction by x plus 3. And whatever you multiply in the denominator, you have to multiply in the numerator. Now, all I simply need to do is apply distributive property. And what I obtain is 3 over x minus 3 times x plus 3 plus 2x plus 6 over x minus 3 times x plus 3. Now, you guys can see I have two fractions with the same denominators, so I can combine the numerators, where I can combine 3 plus 6 is 9. So my final answer is 2x plus 9, all divided by x minus 3, x plus 3, where x, again, cannot equal plus or minus 3. Brandon, we still have some new stuff to go over, so I would not be doing that right now. <laughs>